everyone and welcome to another episode of the Match Betting Chronicles. Okay, so um, correct score Dutching this game, Toulouse versus Marseille. And as you can probably see, nasty, nasty early goal. I think three minutes on the clock, 1-0 to the underdog. So yeah, a bit of a bad start there. But I'll talk you through this trade. Um, it was a it's a bit of a difficult one to call. I did I did really consider whether I was going to do this one or not. Um, if you see my previous video about profiling, I was in two minds whether to do this because, on the one hand, you got Toulouse games which are just full of bags of goals, but they are coming up against Marseille who have the best defence away from home. So I was hoping that might counteract it a bit. But I did cover some of the big score lines just in case and take out a um, maybe a unique kind of insurance. Um, so I'll just talk you through what I've done. I've had the 1-0 covered to Marseille. I did put a bit more money on the 2-0 and the 3-0 as that was the scoreline I thought that it would probably finish on. I've got 2-1 to Marseille, 3-1. Um, the odds on Toulouse 2-0 were quite large. I just put a little bit of money. I've covered the 2-1 on Toulouse. And I've covered the 3-0 as well, as the odds were so large. But I've also, um, I fought some early first half goals could disrupt this trade so what I did is I put a little bit of money on the the half time correct score so I just stuck a one or two pounds on these score lines so if it finished 2-0 first half to Toulouse I'd get back 25 pound which would reduce my risk and if it was 2-0 or 2-1 to Marseille, these are, the, these are the returns I'd get. So that was just in case, you know, that didn't cost me much at all. It's only cost me £4 to do that. And that's just in case there were some early first half goals that really disrupted the trade. I mean, if it stays 1-0 it's for the first half, it's not the end of the world. But I am in a little bit of trouble if it stays 1-0 for too long because I don't have 1-0 to Toulouse covered. I don't have 1-1 covered. And the longer it stays 1-0, the odds on 1-1 drop as well. Um, so yeah, you can see this graph how, you know, they went as high as 10, but they've really, really, they've, you know, they've dropped half now. They're about five. Um, so yeah, I might I might have to think about putting some money on the one one to reduce the risk, but then I do lose my full stake if it finishes one nil. So bit of a difficult situation at the moment. Anyway, um, I'll just talk you through why I why I chose this trade. I'm not sure why it's been suspended. Maybe um, an injury or or a goal, we'll see in a minute. But anyway, um, I'll talk you through this trade. So, um, okay, so Toulouse, they're quite strong at home. I mean, not bad at all. 23 scored and 17 conceded. So, you know, that's not bad at all. But then um, Marseille are playing away. And as you can see, only seven goals conceded away from home. So that's the, that's the best in the league. And second best um, scorers with um, Monaco. Only um, PSG have scored more. So that's why I was expecting um, that Marseille could perhaps nullify the, the attack of Toulouse and even score some goals. Additionally, I looked at I looked at the um, 
first half leaders away from home and um, Marseille they look like they've got the the best record they've only they've only been losing once in the first half away from home so if it obviously if it finishes if the first half finishes 1-0 to Toulouse today that's going to make it two losses so yeah that that did give me um give me a lot of hope for this trade um but also i looked at obviously the previous results and yeah Toulouse can can have some big score lines but recently marseille have really improved and they've kept a lot of clean sheets away from home normally winning i think they've won their last three away games 2-0 so anyway that's that's why i've done what i've what i did um at the moment i'm probably gonna have to think about staking on one one to try and reduce this risk um, but again if there is a couple of quick goals it could quickly get messy two two is not covered and um yeah let's just see what what the stats are saying so it looks like um it looks like Marseille are pushing for a goal in patches, especially during after the first goal was conceded. Looks like they really pushed. Game seems to have um, settled down at the moment. But according to these stats, although Marseille have had more possession, I mean, uh, Toulouse are well ahead on the expected goals. And um, nine, shots on, nine shots, four on target. And... Uh, Yep, Marseille have had no big chances, but Toulouse have had two, so they could they could be two 0 up. So yep, hopefully for me the second half is different and Marseille come out um, and win this match. Okay, back with this game and wow, it's been a completely different feel to the second half and um, I've got the goals I wanted you know I have got 2-1 covered but you know I didn't want them so early in the second half so it's gone 2-1 Marseille before the 60th minute basically and um, I did I did cover I did put some money on the 1-1 because I was just worried that if the game goes too long at 1-0 and then Marseille get a late 1-1, you know, I've got too much risk on the 1-0 and the 1-1 because I didn't cover any of them. So, you know, I thought before the odds crashed too low, I thought I'd better get in, in there and bet on the 1-1. So I put £10 on there, which still gave me a £21.24 loss on the 1-1 one, one, instead of a 71 pound loss so there you go um but now obviously oh it's gone suspended what's happened danger scoreline is is the 2-2 two, two. that's not covered and you know i've got a nasty feeling it will go 2-2 two, two. um i have got the 3-2 covered you know minimal loss on a Marseille 3-2 and I'm actually making money on a Toulouse 3-2 so it's not too bad but the 2-2 is a bit of a worry and you know I'm not sure if these odds are going to pick up enough to get any money on the 2-2 and even if I did it would just start to reduce the profit too much so big problems here Maybe the most sensible thing would be to try and cash out now, take 50p loss it's offering me at the moment. That might be the most sensible thing. But if I let's look at what's happening. Yeah, so you know it was Marseille attacking. Now Toulouse seemed to be attacking, so oof. Maybe 2-2 two, two is looking more likely now. So could be sensible to cash out. Right, got some decisions to make. Um, 
Although the expected goals for the second half, it's not much from either team. To lose three shots, but they've all been off target. And um, Marseille, well, I mean, it, it was six shots, four on target, sort of a while ago, the last time I checked, I think, on the 60th minute. So Marseille seemed to have settled down, but yeah, to lose now. Looking dangerous. So, decisions. You know, actually, I could cash out now for just a, a £3 profit. Um, generally, don't don't know what to do because, yeah, we are into the last 14 minutes. And do I trust how I've profiled this game? Because, you know, Marseille do have a good defence. And I was forecasting just the one goal from to lose if they were going to score any so do i back my research or do i um cash out because of these in play stats um i don't know anyway guys um we'll see what happens at the end and um i'll let you know what decision i make okay everyone that's probably um decision made so it's just gone 3-1 to Marseille and it's probably now too dangerous to stay in. I mean, if there's one more goal to Marseille, it's 4-1 and I take a loss of £71.24. So I'm just going to look to cash that out for around a £5 loss. Hopefully that gets matched. And... Um, yeah, that won't be too bad. It says cash out successful. Let's just check that. Okay, so if it finishes 3-1, yep. I take a loss of £3.52. And any other home win, £4.40. Okay, so I'll take that. Um, so yeah, a little bit a little bit annoying because obviously. 3-1 was one of the target score lines that I had. But it has it just it's just too dangerous to stay in. You know, you could see I was sitting on a on a big loss there if there was another goal. So just couldn't take the risk in the end. And um, you know, did think that was gonna happen, and that's why it's a shame these goals were just so early in the second half. If they if they would have been after the sort of 60th minute, it would have made this much more comfortable, and it would have been easier to de-risk. But still, to get out of that with um, five sort of a five quid loss, that's not too bad because, like I said, you've just got to keep keep the losses. You know, you got to make the profits more than the losses. So, I'm dutching another game today. Um, Roma versus Verona Roma versus Verona that's right so if it if it stays 1-0 I'm on £46 profit 2-0 £46 profit so yeah just got to try and um, you know I'll be in I'll be in profit overall today if it stays like that and that's just what it's all about so rather than gambling and hoping it stays at 3-1 it's better not to take the risk and yeah I know it's easy to think it's just you know you just got to stay in the market market for 10 minutes and um, at 3-1 Marseille will probably just sit on that lead that's probably true but you know if I had to say if I had to you know if I had to bet I'd probably say it's going to be there's more likelihood of it staying 3-1 than going to sort of 4-1 because Marseille can just look to protect their lead now. But, you know, it's still just a little bit too risky for me. So, yep, I'm out. Happy enough. Okay, I hope you found that video useful and uh, see you next time.